So we are at 294 members. Some people must have canceled, which is okay. There's still plenty of them. We're almost there. We'll get rid of Phil as a man. So I wanted to keep that other stream short. Hello, everybody, because I want people to watch it. Um, and <laughs> what I find funny is I'm basically downloading his entire channel as we speak right now. And we know it's, it, of course, you're going to have the people. It's always the, it's the uh, mindset of uh, going to a review site for a restaurant. It's always the people. Well, Rich, you already talked about this. You're beating a dead horse. I'm like, yeah, but these guys in the AV community came forward to me. First off, it's on my secondary channel. I'm not uploading a video. You don't have to come to my second channel to watch it. Breaking news. Um, but I wanted to, he's a real bad guy. He's a really, he's not a good dude at all. And there's no room for him. There is no fucking room for him. Thank you for becoming a member, but I think we'll hit it. We'll still hit the 300. Let's try to, let's try to, let's try to bang out the, those memberships tonight. We're basically there. It happens. And people who dealt with him firsthand. You know, I wish I never called my other video the final video because I would have made another one on him, but I'm not going to because I would hear so much shit about it. I'm hearing shit posting that I'm on my live stream channel. I have people who've dealt with him firsthand. Someone had to call the fucking feds. Ninjishin had to call the feds on the fucking guy. You know what I mean? So, you know, we got. Kel, so we got two more men. I wonder, wonder what I bet, I bet, or maybe who knows? YouTube's numbers, they don't. Well, for, they congratulated me. Congratulations, you had 300 members. Then I go check and it said, what did it say? Just to make sure, because I want to be accurate. I'm at 294. So we're still close. We're still, we'll hit it. I'm not worried about it. I am not worried about it. You know, th that's what my, my thing with him was. He's not. I don't like. I don't care about like. Look, I've t I talk about current events and drama and stuff. They they don't, which is smart. Uh, but what pissed me off about him is don't make it like I'm a liar, dude. Don't make it like don't or don't make it that I have an axe to grind with you for a game that I don't give a shit about. I feed my family doing this. I'm not going to sit there and put all of my credibility on the line to make up lies about a person that I didn't know before he told another younger YouTuber, which he brought up his age all the time. He false flagged him. And then on top of it, he told the, he told people who go kill yourselves. That was which, what was like, Hmm, you're false. You're food, false copyrights. And you told people to go kill themselves. Yeah. You're video worthy now. And then the rabbit hole people, it's not, he's like, Oh, they're trying, you're trying to dig up dirt on me. I'm like, no, the dirt came to me and the dirt was right on your own fucking Twitter account. So, what's up, Smash? So, uh, yeah, that that was my issue. And then look, for everyone who was like, "Oh, you're beating a dead horse," like, uh, then don't come watch the stream. It's not. I'm not making another fucking video. Relax. Jesus, fucking people, man. Um, so right now I have 296. If, if YouTube is accurate with the two new members, I'm, we have, we are nipple tantalizingly close to, uh, <laughs> yep, yeah, dude, he, there are, I, I, they sent me a bunch of screen caps and I know there was certain stuff that, that, that some, I don't think it was them or someone else that worked with them. I don't want to name names. I didn't know what was wanted to be mentioned or not, so I kind of didn't want to just show screen, screen caps. Um, needs QTV needs to relax. Rich, you miss. I'm sorry I missed Super Chat's last stream. I wanted to keep that stream relatively short uh, so people watch it and see it, you know. There should be a, a join button under the... Oh, hello. Quantum... So... Fentazen and we got Kel, we got DBZ, we got three new members, so we're basically going to get there again. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, Michael Williams, I'm glad you're standing up for the YouTube community. Richest man is legitimately a bad guy, deserves all the backlash he gets for trying to sweep the truth under the rug. And I'll admit it too, it became personal when he. It, it, that's why I kind of had an axe. Like, don't make it like I'm being a fucking liar, dude. 
Don't make it like I'm just trying. I don't have a vendetta against you. I didn't even know who the fuck you were until this whole fiasco. You know, but you doubling down on wishing death on the entire LGBTQ community. You did it. Your accounts were linked there. That was you. And don't say that, oh, I forgot about you forget about a tweet where you wish that a group of people were shot. How does that one just go right over your head? But all the but all the get the fuck out of here, man. You if you don't want something on your YouTube or your social media, you're like that that you you make sure that shit is like you're there are, there is no room for any. He is the fear he is the flawless leader. I'm thinking of I'm trying to think of the right word there. Dear leader, if you are not kissing Quantum TV's ass on his ban, you're evading a ban too, you piece of shit. You're evading a ban. Quantum, that's a no-no. Good luck. Can I get some DSP? Of course you can. You can get it. Try to relax your anus. Someone asked for an anus relaxation. And uh, so, of course, we get some DSP. Bird nip, what's up, Camelot? You know, and I didn't know this guy was. I feel bad because I believe uh, Keep It Classy sent me it. I didn't know he sent me a tweet. I would have looked into him. Like, this guy's a fucking basket case, man. And the racist shit his wife was saying. It's so weird. It's so it's so strange. And, and you know, and it'll be everyone else's fault. It'll be we we were doing a witch hunt. Like, nah, dude. You, there's a difference between cancel culture and accountability. And you can't be a terrible person and just say, yeah, no. Nah, if you if you hate it, get woke or broke, bro. No, you're you're a bad guy. He won't debate me live. There's no fucking way. I would love to. Sure. Let him, dude. My go, go hit me. Oh wait, you can't hit me up on Twitter. <laughs> well, I'm I am will be paying for shipping, and everyone who is a subscriber is part of the giveaway. It's not just members. It's not that would be that would be a raffle at that point, and that would be illegal. So. I'm just going to pick a randomizer out of all the subscribers and who wins, wins. That's it. You, Chris, yes, you can get a look here. Look, listen. Look here. Look, listen. There should be a join button right under the video where I'm, you see me, I believe. I have no idea when my Steam Deck is shipping. No, he does have a wife, and apparently she's racist. You know, that from what they said. Like, you can't tell me all... It's not even an assumption. It's literally his social media. There's no debate about this. It's incredible that he's trying to deny it. But Pat just posted a video about how one of the Bella from Mika has been shut down. Yeah, we're going to watch that. I already thought that was already on my... (laughs) Ban anybody who said that I'm a big... But he is a big at DBZ. He is. He is. Yeah. That's another... Like... And it's so weird. They're not producing those. That was assembled. Wasn't that... Uh, I saw... As I'm burping. I saw... um, Whoever did the unboxing of the Amico. That was just assembled in the office. That wasn't done... That wasn't like an actual retail unit. So what the fuck were they even showing? It's not like you got that off the assembly line. Why are you even showing it? It's just all smoke and mirrors at this point with that fucking thing. They're both terrible people, dude. I'm not even... The red flag to me was, I'm surprised that Mustache Man, I forgot his name, even admitted it, was that they were sending that to their, I believe, European office or German office. Why? Why would you have to send it if you were if you were ready to sh- like you know 
sending like why even show it if they're not being mass produced why even show it if that's not coming off an assembly line what are you doing what's with the smoke and mirrors it's unbelievable it's unbelievable it's like rich why are you always so negative on your youtube because everything is fucking negative That's why. Yes, you can. Can I get two, two for five? DSP wash, of course. You can get more. So, it's it's lunacy, man. We got downstorm AF. So we're at five. We're we're, we're gonna hit it. Let's try. I don't even know what happens. I guess some people. Uh, I don't know if they if they cancel or sometimes who knows. There's a billion reasons. That's why I said kind of last night. Let's hit a buffer. Yum yum ten. Thank you for becoming. So we're at six. We've already done it again. Let's see if we get. We're already at three hundred again. So there we go. <laughs> Welcome to Members. The Wii U video as of now is officially fully recorded. Recorded. Keyword there. I'm going to say it again. I'm not. Well, I'm partially baked, but I'm making sure. You're Wyatt. I was wondering what the fuck happened to you, Wyatt. It's recorded in full. My editor is editing it right now. It will be done eventually. I got some interesting stuff coming up, man. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But the video is fully... I'm sure you may have to have me do a couple little... Hey, we're just retake this or dad that, but... I had to go to a park today and uh, scream horses. I didn't want to do it initially, to be quite frank. Banshee TK, we are good. We're getting that buffer in there. Yim Yim 10, we got Downstorm AF as a member. And he had me scream horses. As a matter of fact, I will show that footage to you right now. You could see we're going to look at some horses. Um, Where I had to scream horses if... Why is this acting like, where is it? There we go. There we go. <laughs> Let me uh, put this on the other screen here. Yeah, so it was really nice of those guys to come on there. I really appreciate it. I don't like what that shit happens in the community. And, uh, What are you doing? Oh, it's dead. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Um, where did my live stream go? All right. Maybe the uh, edibles are kicking in. John Sugar. Thank you for becoming a member. <laughs> Just want to make sure my, uh, Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what is it? What do I have here? Oh. Oh, the joy I have bringing down terrible people. That's where I'm an asshole, because I do take joy in destroying terrible people. I'll admit it. That's where I'm a prick. Hey, you're you're not a prick. No, I'm a prick. I don't. I, I like watching terrible people suffer. Um, and he he. Not I want to see anything personal happen to him. I don't want anyone bothering. I don't want anyone going doing it. Like Lee, keep it on YouTube. But he basically pointed a sh a sh uh, sawed up shotgun at his feet <laughs> and just pulled his own trigger. I didn't have to do anything. But uh. Elden Ring's open world is just wondrous. I need to play more of that. I know my editor wants to do a video on that. I haven't had time yet. Can you read back the super chat questions so people can follow your responses to the questions? Would really help out, bro. Yes, I can do that for you. So here is some exciting uh, behind-the-scenes action from my Wii U video. So let's uh, start this from the top here. Juicy Horse! Booch. Horse! Horse! 
Very important stuff we're doing. Horse. And there... Horse! And there you go, Scorsese, watch out. Stephen Tart, thank you for becoming a member. Elden Ring Game of the Year, many people are saying that. Going against Linus Tech. He's gone, dude, anyone who has any kind of credibility he goes after. He's, I've met, I've literally had a roommate that was like him. They think that just disparaging people makes them seem better. It's so pathetic. You could tell they, I actually know the person that he did have daddy issues. It's always noticed that it's always their upbringing that makes them terrible. Yeah, that that was actually, for, Scorsese was there filming that. That was totally not me with a uh, iPhone in my hand. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it, dude, it's crazy. 10 new fucking members this evening. That is fucking amazing. We got beautiful Angel Blossom as a member. So we're at, we're at 306. We're at 304. We're at 304. We're at 304. I, 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 I just want to make sure people don't think I'm bullshitting or something like that and just trying to fluff up numbers. I'm looking at it right now. 294 plus 10. Do the math. We're at 304. Now we're at 305 because Tar has become a member. Beautiful Angel Blossom. Steven Tar. We got a lot of Tar here. Horse for streams. There was another one someone fucking mentioned yesterday, and I forgot about it already. Whenever I someone tells me an idea for the soundboard, I just have to stop everything I'm fucking doing, even though I'm going to lie about it and not do it right now. Um, yeah, but the problem is, is the screen the, that counter doesn't automatically do it. You can't. That number is not coming from like YouTube statistics. I could, I could put that I have twenty members or twenty thousand. Nothing special. Well, you are something special. Thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Keep it classy. Yes, dude. And when you come to New York, man, absolutely. I meant to respond to you there back before, bro. Absolutely, man. That was awesome. And I kept it short, so now more, hopefully more people see it. I'm going to do proper tags with it later and everything because I hate saying this because I'm going to – Quantum T – I'm going to sound like a fucking T-tuber. Is that the name for them? I just probably made up a boomer name, but that's okay. Fuck. I'm not stopping with the applause ever. Oh, wait. One of the applauses are missing, so maybe I am. Ah. Uh, Spread your cheeks and just go to town. I must have had a bunch of stuff in my download folder, because right now I am... Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. We are we are on a downloading we are on a quantum TV downloading spree. He's knowing him, he's probably gonna try to fucking delete all this shit before I can even download it. Sex offender shuffle. What the fuck is that? Did you clip I'm tickled? Who says I'm tickled? <laughs> I know I spam sometimes and I apologize. I don't realize that I do it. Even sober I I fucking spam i don't mean to i'll try to do better Obli do i have the at least the oblivion music is there let's see if you could watch one of these stop the fomo video let's see what this uh no actually no i want to watch first the video that pat and ian did on hey nice looking man can i get a horse of course you can get a horse and a, and a cock too where are my birds But yeah, absolutely. Keep it classy, man. That would be because I know zero about anything with calibration. I could sure as fuck use my TV calibrated and, you know, if it gets you some some followers on the channel, that'd be great. Can we watch YouTube poop old down road possibly after we watch the video from Pat and Ian, who I know they hey, if it gets some viewership and shit like that, that's great. That's all, you know, let them hate me. That's fine. Uh, add them to the list of people that think I'm a piece of shit. But you see, the thing about me, though, is I'll, like, I'll call out other YouTubers, but I keep it 
I keep it about like YouTube shit. You know, like like I, I, I when RGT eighty five. Time for the mozzarella, you motherfucker. Dead eye. Okay. Do I have a? Uh, oh, I don't have. There we go. What is these? I'll look it up. What the sex offender shuffle is. I love how I take my shirt off like it is, you know, well, it is part of what I do here. I am officially a, uh, I am a cam, I am a cam man. So, let's go to the CU podcast. You know, this is journalistic integrity right here. Nipples, hair, and birds. Where's my other bird? Oh, it's on the floor because I was doing this for the Wii. I had to switch up here for the Wii U video, which I think people understand why that is. I own a horse and his name is Marshall. Ah, Dan Wolf. Are you what happened with your brother, by the way? I believe it was your brother. The so we could possibly Oh, yes. That's an OG one. Remember I did that with uh, Silvermania back in the day? Those were the good old days. Television Amico direct if developer goes out of business. I did listen to this on the car ride out before running errands. Yeah, to Quantum, uh, if you want to come calibrate my nipples, you are welcome to. <coughs> oh, man, I'm missing so many sounds because I, I purposely, and I feel bad because if keep it classy, if you're still here, I, I apologize or seem a little distracted before, but I wanted to get on that before. Uh, Quantum TV started deleting videos, which I still may miss the boat with some of, the, some of them. It's downloading, though. It is. Did it download her? Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me check something here. Let me just look at something real quick. Samsung stole this idea from Hisense. HDTV test was bought and paid for by the UHD Alliance. This fucking guy is a piece of work, dude. Where is the video? Hold on one second. I just want to see if it's actually downloading. Yes, dude. Uh, Quantum TV, I have. Don't even waste your time deleting anything. I'm not going to. I won't. Don't worry. Because you would you would TOS the shit out of me. It ain't. But if you ever try to say that you didn't fucking say something, don't worry. I have your I have the entire Quantum TV library. Thanks, 4K TV downloader. Oh damn! As a person who uses gifts on a on a daily basis, that's sad to hear. Uh, Stephen Wilhite passed away. Also, I'm not laughing at that, but if someone's sort of damn shirts off, the Quantum TV needs to come Calvert. Also, add Alex Jones screaming, Justin B. Yes, yeah, someone mentioned that to fucking me, too. What is wrong with me, man? So thank you for all. We have 12 new fucking members. Did I miss shouting up some members? So Deadeye, thank you for the mozzarella man titties. Did I miss someone's becoming a member? Beagle Boy, thank you for being a member for over half a year. Cosmic Productions, I did miss you. Hey, Rich, can we get the sec? Possibly. And I'm tickled. Definitely needs to be in a soundboard. Rich's hairy, luscious ass. Hey, Dad, fully expect to get my ass handed to me at work, but my boss gave me a dollar fifty raise. Now I'm making toy. Yes, you could get ra rapid snorts. Congratulations on that too. <laughs> How old are you, bro? That's a decent amount amount of change to make, man. Steven Taurus graduates. So let's celebrate with a DSP laugh, of course. <laughs> Wait, I got a better one for you. We're going Dark Souls. <laughs> Isn't there a way? I believe I could share a link for members. Doesn't it have a shareable? Me yes, here we go. If you would like to become a member, here you go. I don't do tiers or anything like that. Just make it because it would just become a mess. It just supports the show. You get to use the uh, what do they call them? I'm old. Um, 
And you get to support my nipples. Who doesn't want to support my nipples? <coughs> Thank you. Fuck you. I hate birds. Michael Mulford. So, Stephen Tarr, congratulations on graduating. Emotes, emotes, yes. I actually went for a nice, big, juicy walk today. And I've been, I've been cutting back on what I've been eating again, too. Because I want to, man, I want to... I still want to lose more. Got a PC at last. Can we get a fell down? Of course you get a hole. I fell down a fucking hit hole. Holy support tonight, Batman. I'm appreciating it. Thank you. AC Patterson, thank you for becoming a member. So let's get this going here. We got a... We have, it, it's so sad that they can't let go. Of the, oh, what the hell's up here? Get out of here. Uh, You know, like RGT85, like... I made those videos with the thing that happened with him with Metroid uh, Dread. It isn't even a big deal. But again, it's about YouTube stuff. I would like, we're done. And I'm cool with, we talk all the time, RGT85. He's probably going to be in a live stream again. Camelot's going to be in live. Boogie's going to, it's not that I'm not having those. It's just like, we're good. And I keep it about YouTube. It's not like even Keemstar. Have I ever, we've had our fallouts before. Have I ever gone personal with Keem? No, it's about YouTube shit. Even the quartering. It's about YouTube. Even with these clowns. You know, they, they consider me a backstabber, which I don't really get, but... Yeah, you need to still watch the poop, crap post YouTube poop. I, instead, I made it publicly on my channel along with two others. Send it to me on Twitter. I get all messages on Twitter. I have my DMs open on there. Ian. Yeah. Um, I wanted to see if we could go a full month without talking about the Intellivision. It sounded like Ian was expecting him to say we're breaking up. Thank you very much, Pixel Shark. I could be a prick. I could be a prick, but I'm not. I'm not a terrible person, though. So I checked out the Amigo box and noticed the UP. I searched it. And it's North America code for Canada in the white model. The EU is different. So what the fuck is that about? Miko, like a full month. We're getting like a couple weeks in. And I'm like, we made it a week, uh, a couple. And they're like, oh, this is this could be dying down. They're in their quiet period, which means that they're going to slink away. I want to see what they have to say. I'm actually genuinely interested. I'm not saying that facetious. What they have to say about the unboxing, and um, probably declare bankruptcy and go off into the night, and 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 maybe not give back people's uh, refunds for pre. I got it show you real quick and i swear i won't be stopping and going a billion that's a lot shut the fuck up you're gonna keep stopping and going um i have this cauliflower breaded chicken now a lot of times there's two things about ca like cauliflower crust pizza a lot of it, it's just as bad for you but this is actually cauliflower it has a little bit of rice flour in it so it has like virtually no carbs and what I do is I air fry it, or I actually use convection. Actually, my oven with convection bake, it has air frying feature, but it's better air frying with convection bake than air frying. And I crisp them up really well, and then I put them in like either sriracha mixed in with a little uh, Smart Balance butter. It tastes like you went to Planet Wings, and it's not fried. It does. Uh, the whole bag of chicken is not even 500 calories and it's fucking delicious, man. So that's what I've been eating for lunch and I've been doing, uh, doing some walking too. Not right this second. We can't watch a flashback turtle. I think they purposely released the unboxing, but after they recorded their podcast, the timing lines up. Why would they do that though? I'm not sure. What do you mean? What are you insinuating with that? I'm not, I'm not even trying like, now, like some people said, though, you know, what the interesting thing about this chicken is that if you just crisp it up, yeah, it has that kind of farty cauliflower taste because cauliflower breading isn't it isn't like some cure all to like, oh, if now I have a low carb breading. First off, some of those like pizza crust are bullshit. Oh, it's cauliflower. So it must know it's, it's just as fattening for you. It has just as many carbs as regular pizza crust. It's just the oh, wow, it's fattening, but with some cauliflower in it. <laughs> But this is like nothing. It's and it's fucking delicious. I feel like you went to like Planet Wings and got uh, boneless wings there. So I've been eating that, man, and it's good. It's real fucking good. Uh, so 
Did I miss any super chats? Because I feel like there was. Yeah, man. Thank you for all the support tonight. Holy shit. It was like a tsunami <laughs> in like a half an hour or two. Fucking A. So, like I said, keep this in mind. And uh, everyone, the only thing you have to do to enter, and I'll be doing it on April 1st. No, it's not an April Fool's joke. Here is the fucking one of the two Switch OLEDs. Is to be a subscriber, which is free. So I am not doing a raffle, because that would be illegal. However, on the flip side, for someone who may have become a member and don't know this, you, your chances are not increased because you're a member to win that. You will have the same. If, so long as you're a subscriber, the subscriber who is subscribed for free has an equal chance of winning as you do. And I just, I'm just being as painfully transparent as I can be. Yeah, daylight savings is annoying. Just keep it the time it is now. I like having extra daylight in the winter. And fuck daylight saving. Keep it classy tech. Thank you for becoming a member. Thank you, man. Yours. I have been getting more word about some pre-order, uh, some pre-order refunds, money came back. Some have not. Uh, be very vocal about it. If you have not gotten, I've gotten direct uh, screenshots of. Where did they say it's pre-recorded, Bill? I caught that. Multiple people saying, "What is a boneless pizza?" I've heard that saying, but I know it's a meme. There's obviously no bones in a fucking pizza unless you have chicken on there that wasn't deboned properly. But uh, Nick Earl, what's going on? Buy two horses running. Oh, man, I did that Christmas Eve 2014. That was eight fucking years ago almost. Isn't that nuts? Hey, I, I uh, uh, emailed them a month ago. I still don't have my money back. Unfortunately, not everyone's going to get their money back. Uh, Seems like they've been refunding people who they feel like. Don't worry, Intellivision. I am going to die on the hill. Thank you, dear. I am going to die on the pre-order hill. I don't care. If I lose the 100, I lose the 100. I am sticking it out until the 11th hour, 12th hour, 13th hour. Like, might be the loudest about yes. not getting a refund. Like, like if I had pre-ordered, damn well they would have refunded me versus, For sure. you know, like, that's the thing. Like, they're, 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 they don't want to give back all this money, obviously, because it's hundreds of thousands of dollars. But, like, it's the right thing to do. Yeah, I don't think you're um, just going to magically find this $100 back in your account if you don't ask for it. They're going to no. keep that. Um, no. I, I saw a couple of uh, screenshots of someone that was like in the one of the Amico f fan club groups was like a month ago saying, I'm holding out hope. I'm not getting my money back. And then next month, I asked for my money back. Yep. I saw uh, that. That e was even the special. E Metal Beer Solid. I love your name. Yeah, you're getting an applause. <laughs> oh, my God. Grandpa. Ooh, yeah. I got to fix my soundboard after this stream or tomorrow. Even the hardcore, you don't want to call everyone a cultist, but even the hardcore fans that were just overly optimistic are like reading the writing on the wall. Some of them, finally, yeah, are doing that. And some of these are just like sort of hardcore and television fans that... And the thing is, you know what really is sad with Pat and Ian? I still think they're dicks. They're, they're egotistical fucking asshats. But... I agree with a lot of their takes. I used to support their sh I even supported their show after. Like, you could disagree with someone and still, like, I didn't agree with their take on Diablo Immortal. I called him out on it. <laughs> My editor made that funny intro. Oh, no. It happens. You, you know, they have takes on people all the time, like I say. The, the, and I know I'm repeating myself, but it just baffles me. Is like, are you going, giving everyone a heads up, Pat? No, you're not, but... Drew, thank you for becoming a member. Dad, thank you for becoming a member. Want to continue the the legacy, even though th th there's no legacy really anymore to continue. Yeah, there do it's, seem to be some people who uh, are like, uh, whole, you know, leaving the money in out of uh, this this misguided notion of support, and it's like you're not supporting anything about the company you once loved. This no, company yeah, that no, you that was money Mattel. into that was Mattel. Yeah, this company that you've put money originally. into has given you literally nothing. That yeah. was Mattel that's what people don't understand like that was when we were watching that stupid video from tommy that someone re-uploaded it like via from a vhs tape the original video didn't look that bad um it's not in television the intellivision that you know at all it's not it's just, someone bought the ip tommy it's not mattel it's stop you know what I mean? Like, come on, man. It's over. That's how company's long gone. 
Hey, Rich, big fan. Could you tell your wife, Anne Marie, that Chicken Man says hello and give her a few chickens? Tell my wife. I thought, I'm like, I don't have a wife named Anne Marie. Yes, of course. <laughs> hello. I'm fire with the I'm like I'm like uh, the Arab music of soundboards for live streams, except I'm not like any of that. Okay, thank you, Lightspeed Murphy. You're welcome, Sean. Mattel, Mattel created the Intellivision. Then they, then they sold it to like the Intellivision group at like Mattel. Go go buy some toys to support Mattel. Anyway, so in the midst of all this, um, on the you never heard of A-Rab music? He's a ridiculous producer, dude, for hip hop. Uh, in television underscore Amico, Reddit, Ian, there was a, Did a lot a of stuff with Dipset. He's still around happened, doing shit. Uh, concerning one of the developers, a German developer. Oh, yes, called, he did. Okay, German, of course, called Wasted Studio. There was a thread calling saying German grant money fall, asking what the hell happens with this. And then someone's named ZZ Boba said, I was told that the studio behind yes, Moon Patrol I like Mad Lib. Studios folded in 2021. I like when they work with Jay Dilla, too. They had that Jay Lib album. And then they said the biggest, bigger fraud to me is them selling a physical product games while probably fully aware of the fact that these games are... 17 new members. Holy shit. Far from finished. What? And console release is highly unlikely just to cash in some bucks to survive for a few more weeks. We pointed that out at the time. That's yeah, exactly my own friend called from for. Stern. Yeah, that's what happened. This, this wasn't anyone being benevolently being uh, like, you have all asked for this so many times. Did, didn't we predict that way several months before that they were going to sell the physical games yes. before the console came out? We said that. And no one ever pushed back and said you were liars. Whatever. That's the thing. No one ever said, hey, from, from Tommy or Intelligent, hey, you guys are right. They don't only call out when we're wrong. If they were deathly silent, that's when we knew we got them. Yeah. We got them at that point. Um, so ZZ Bob. Because whether it be, look, Quantum TV is a whole new level of terrible. Okay, I'm not comparing Tommy Tellerico. I don't know his viewpoints on things, and I'm not. But the personalities in terms of they can never be wrong. They don't like people telling them they're wrong. They're, that's where they're cut from the same cloth. Um, yeah, they, they, they'll they just be silent or they'll just, they think that, oh, I could just disavow my way. People will just believe me and think I'm right if I just keep just like a bull in a china shop plowing through and it's not how it works man if the evidence is there it, 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 if we're just calling it like we see it i'll even defend them and say the same thing doesn't mean that we're haters doesn't mean that like stop trying to disparage the credibility of who we are to try to because people most people see through it most people unless they're a quartering thing but <laughs> Most people. Oh, I didn't know they never see. I actually, I came out and said like, yeah, well, I found out some more information and pro Jared is not. He may have sent dick pics, but he wasn't sending them to underage. Uh. And then you found out all the sketchy shit about the people that made allegations. Like they're, they were trying to like capitalize on it. Uh, you gotta come out, man. Like I'm, I make mistakes all the. That's just how it is. Like the news is fluid, whether it be tech news or political news, it doesn't matter. It's the news is constantly changing, and sometimes misinformation happens. Like that Ratchet and Clank video. Remember that? And like the developer came out, and there, I didn't realize I fucked up. Where I got the information from was from an old article, and I, I try to double check all that stuff. But once in a while, shit happens, you know. You got to own up to it. Bubba checked uh, uh, basically uh, a website, northdata.com, which I guess talks about uh, uh, proceedings, legal proceedings in Germany. So this company, Wasted Studios in, in Munich, uh, Germany, was uh, was liquidated. They're, they were dissolved. Oh. In a legal proceeding. Huh. How about that? In uh, They were dissolved. They were formed. Uh, registered, it looks like in late 2015, early 2016, and and, uh, and then liquidated and dissolved in July of 2021.
company no longer exists legally. And this is the company. Thank you, Andrew. Did. Hope you're doing well uh, as Moon well. Moon Patrol, which was the original app. Yeah, but Fireblade, I didn't mention your name before. I got to start. That's a bad habit that I have with the with the uh, super chats. You guys are right. You got to own up because how do, could people ever if you? But the weird thing is, is there is this community that loves when people just I they rather have an influencer pretend they're right about everything than admit fault. It's very oh that's strength. No, it's not. That's just their fragile ego that they don't want to see hurt. That's not strength. But there's some people that really feel, oh, they never apologize. That's a real man. All right, you're fucking weird. There's some people that are like that, though. They want someone, they, they think that's a, like an alpha male thing, which is so sad. App game? One of the more polished-looking games, by the way. I'll give him credit on sure. that. Sure. It was. Um, and then... Which, it, it got which, a playable... It, 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 it proceeded far enough, progressed far enough to get a public demo released to the yeah. public. Yeah, and then they did like one update on the app. They didn't up, up the app. Remember, the, remember, the, remember the, the disaster of the app that I criticized and they took it out. You had to find a fucking Amico, uh, an Intellivision logo, and yeah. then QR re, like read on your. It was like so convoluted just to load it up. It was like I thought. Thank you, Joshi Khan. I appreciate seventeen new fucking members tonight, dude. Thank you so much. I'm like they don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're making it hard for me to get to the app. Uh, I had to find. The I've heard Howard Stern, at least from the what I've lived, maybe old school Howard Stern did it, but I've heard of him a lot of times when he's wrong. A fucking logo to, on my phone to, to update, to get the app. It on. was an incredibly anyway. short demo, but it was, I yeah, mean, yeah, one it, level. It, it's Moon Patrol. It was competent enough. It, it was it was a proof of concept. Yes. Uh, but, but he's also like me, though. <laughs> and it's not that I'm copying him, or I don't care if you super chat me $100, you say something stupid. Thank you for the $100. You could still fuck off, though. <laughs> I'm, I admit when I'm wrong, but I'm, you know, I have a spine, and if you're trying to, you know what I mean? But they also did biplanes as well. Um, so they also did that one, and that one was showed off as well, as tournaments we'll get into. So, so I guess what, what ZZ Boba points out is this. Not only... Did this company? Did, it's one thing for a company to dissolve, right? Mm -hmm. And no longer exist. But yes, the chicken suit, fifteen streams. It'll that'll be April first is when I'm doing the giveaway, where I'll do the randomizer and it'll choose from whatever fifty one and change subscriber, fifty one thousand and change subscribers I have here. Um, and the chicken suit, I'm gonna wait till because I still got to do shit with taxes. I'm actually doing. Oh, Uncle Sam is gonna fist my ass this year hard but after that's done i want to get that all because i don't know like i may have to go do stuff with that may not be able to stream a night so that i'm going to put the the giveaway that's still going to happen on april 1st uh do you think the queue for the steam deck was a bad i'm seeing steam decks go for a thousand over I've, over a thousand I've seen some for like two grand on the end i just found out my spot changed from yeah i got no emails dude i give up on that thing you know what kind of made me lose my interest in the steam i'll buy one when they're readily available but it doesn't run Windows well. That was the thing I cared about the most. I don't care about SteamOS. I wanted so I wanted it. Like I felt like the the systems from other companies gave me a taste, and I was like, oh wow, they're going to have a more powerful RDNA two SOC in there, so it's going to be able to do some kind of ray tracing stuff and handle games better. But it runs Windows like shit, at least for now. So I'm in no rush. Rather just use my INEO next, you know. But these games. Thank you, Pacific Productions, and Joshi, and Andrew, and Fireblade, and everybody tonight. We're shown at public events, and we'll go through the timeline, and then we're sold. I got them right here for effect. Not your boy. Thank you for becoming. I don't have the a energy to make a big thing out of it. The physical products, two out of the eight, twenty-five percent of your physical products, from a company that no longer existed by the time time these came out, was done. We know that these games were not finished. We know that what I hold my hand is technically not a game license. It's a promise of downloading a game. It's an IOU for a game that's probably never going to exist. <laughs> oh, a total side note, because I'm going to know forget if I don't mention it now. Um, I don't know if I'll make videos on them, so this is not a video promise. But I bought cartridges of games like they're, they have Ninja Turtles and Streets of Rage 2 for the Sega Genesis. They have... Uh, Super Mario Land remade for the Super Nintendo. So that'll be pretty cool. 
Uh, not so. Could you watch Dank Swank? Let's review Gran Turismo Seven Backlash video. Send a link on Twitter. I actually may have another video tomorrow. There's a YouTuber calling people lazy because they don't want to put the time in to grind. Yeah, because you know, God forbid, you have a life and just want to play video games uh, on your own leisure. Game once it's available and the system comes out, we know that that's on the website. It's in the Epic. It's an extra shit. fancy IOU. Please believe us. We will get you this game at some. Oh, wow, I'm psychic. Even though I watched this before, I forgot he said that, and I said the same thing. Uh, I fuck Manly Cornholes, which is Google Fish, has sent me something. It is not... Pot Why is it... Oh, it's locked up. Wonderful. I, I love this app. Oh, my God. Uh, let's see. What did you send? Leo Thomas is a man. Thank you for letting me know. These are trinkets. But they used this developer to make two of these trinkets. So this is how the timeline works. In there. And I know he's nice by calling them trinkets. I would just call them cardboard pieces of shit. They're not even trinkets. They're bullshit. And AmigoGames.com also had a nice post uh, laying this down. And I don't know how I originally missed this a week ago, but I did. But now we're going to go through it here. So um, you have the, 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 the company's done July 13th of 2021. It's dissolved, right? Yep. It's fucking done. They go to Boomer's. Almost in our backyard. They go no, there's no. Hold on. Where am I at? Where did I put him? I don't even know where I fucking put him. <laughs> I got him here somewhere. When I get up, I got to put my shirt on in a second. When it's done, I'll, I got to piss. But yeah, no, it's literally like an RFID card. And uh, as I almost knocked my seltzer over on my Switch OLED, that would have been. Let me uh, put this somewhere where it will not. Let me put my seltzer on the fucking floor. Instead of being near my electronics. Yeah, it's an art. It's shit. It, it's a voucher. It, I don't even know if it's a voucher because the product's probably not even going to come out. It's just they swindled people for extra money because they were desperate for cash is what it comes down to. You go to Boomers September 11th. What a date to go. Isn't that the one that they've showed biplanes at? Um, they showed. I think they might have shown biplanes. I think they might have shown Moon Patrol. Yeah, it's not it's not cheap. The chicken is, but that's the problem. Healthy food is ex expensive. Troll there, but they went and showed off games there, and that was September 11th. And people are saying, "Oh, I'm playing these games. This is fun." Um, they did they did they did the uh, Crayola event as well, and they and I think they definitely played uh, uh, Belize biplanes there, uh, like in the basement. Party. I don't think I've ever seen a picture uh, of biplanes, but I know people have said they've played it. it. Yes. Yeah. So it was definitely there around this period. Then they go to Thanksgiving Point, Turkey Point, as you as Turkey you, Point, gobble gobble, and that's where that picture. October, that's the that's where the picture of um, Moon, Patrol, Moon Patrol with filler text, with Star Fox text, was reported on, and it was texted <laughs> about. And Sam from Ars Technica even I tweeted forgot about, about that. that. At the time. Three months after, two to three months after the studios already shuttered, after it's gone. So you have multiple events where two games are being shown. By a company that no longer exists legally. So yeah. first, I'll ask, why? Why are those companies no? Lo why is this company no longer in business? Okay. Um, were they not? And these are all. Spe this is all speculation. I may even obviously. make a video on it tomorrow. Crucial black. Were, thank were they you. not getting paid out anymore from in, uh, in television entertainment to finish? Uh yeah, dude. There's so many. I'm not doing, but I have like the carb free or low carb. They're not wraps. They're like, it's more protein and there's like two fucking carbs in it. There's a lot of options out there now. I've been doing more walking. I'm getting off my ass again. I mean, not that I've been eating shitty. I mean, God, I haven't imagined I was as big as I used to be, but I want to lose more. Uh, the games, did they have to survive based upon a revenue cut? So, and they thought that by now the system would actually be out or something to, to finish it. What was happening? They obviously didn't finish these games. They couldn't even put in fucking placeholder text to me, which is which was said that at the time that was an embarrassment. Such a red flag. Yeah, I thought the same thing. Like, why don't you have any of this? Like, at least have the. It, okay, developers all do this. Even indie devs, like they're saying, this is a uh, not even beta alpha or whatever. It, things are subject to change, but at least what they're showing, they try to polish as much as they can you're not even checking to see if the font and you're stealing fonts and shit from other places come on such red flags
spin that they couldn't spend five minutes to write up a little description about Moon Patrol. Right. Like, you got to be kidding me. And, and then took a, 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 another a game's text wholesale. But what happened here to this studio? What happened to them? And why was a the decision then made for, those, for two of the more probably polished games then, knowing that the company is done with, to sell these fucking trinkets when you know the games are not finished or close to being finished? And not just that, the, the, the studio's gone to finish them. Why? Every year doing this, I got to piss real quick. I think I've seen everything. And then another year happens, and then there's like the Intellivision Amico and Quantum fucking TV. I'll be right back. Got it for you, Jay Cruz. I fell down a fucking hit. Hole. weird until like a s 10 seconds ago i didn't really feel like i had to pee then all of a sudden i had a fire hose because i mean at that point they're panicking that's they, they've already got the that uh, timing wise that that would already also be around the uh is that let's see sudesh yeah we already talked the, yeah, the set, sudesh loan the was game, happening around this time uh, the sudesh loan was happening around the time around that the September, games went for sale August, so this was. is i mean we we said it you said at the time they put on a public face and people helped them put on that public face. But oh yeah, that, YouTubers that, covered this. This was, this was this was the oh shit moment for Amico. I'm not calling them out, but Slopes Game Room did a weird thing where they brought in like six or seven different like uh, British UK uh, YouTubers yeah. to talk. Why are they so afraid now to call people out? It's, but they're they're selective with uh, who they call out. You know, the, then they have no problem calling out. I, I don't know. They, they, they are strange men. Uh, developers, developers, developers. What I think every time I hear the word devs. Thanks, Steve. Steve Ballmer and his sweaty armpits are God's gift. Talk about these things. Yeah. And I'm just looking. This is like, but these aren't games, right? I'm like, these aren't games you're looking at. These aren't games. These are, this points to a URL that has nothing there. That's literally what's there. Yeah. Um, so what happened to this company? And if someone like me would ask, if this studio no longer exists, are there other studios that came to some sort of end, uh, either publicly or legally or behind the scenes where they don't money to continue working on this stuff? And obviously the morality or ethics, business ethics of putting out products uh. with a company that can no, can no longer exist to complete the products is is obviously if it's not fraudulent i don't know what it is at that point i, mean, I don't know what it is we know that the, none of the physical games were truly 100 percent. yeah they're not going to be collector's items i hear people say like they're just not no one gives a shit about this thing i've been saying that even before i completely went like this thing's a joke like where i was still trying to be objective about it like it's not. It's not that every no one's hair is on fire, even about the Amico or in television. It was. It was a blip in the radar of gaming history. I know I've said that a billion times, but it's true. Tommy aggrandizes it because he has this nostalgia boner over in television, but it was not as big as he was trying to make it out to be. Percent. 
done. That, that they sold. Sure. However, these these this, this, is a, this is just a slap in the face. This it, is beyond the pale. It, it's these not, two games are at least beyond. The, I'm not talking about uh, Brain Duel. How, if that's ever it done, you look at something like Brain Duel in the box. It looks like it's like it could be filler text or demo shit happening. But like these are games that potentially could never be finished. Wait. Let me see the biplanes. Oh, look at that. Very fun. These little dinky physical uh, products. By the way, we're talking about how cheap they are. Yeah. I had I had to get my hands on them. I had to. Someone had give me a few. I wanted to get, get them all just to Destiny FOMO set me them. <laughs> I don't even know where the fuck uh, I have them. There. We don't know how the far they're they completed. Go? We don't know uh, if we don't know. Like if it, it was one thing, if it'd be one thing to say at the time, well, we're gonna finish these in house at Intellivision, even though they don't get have rid of them. In, in I have them. So. It's all second second party. One point so five. Part, one point five party. So like they they communicated nothing of this before putting these games on sale. And now I invite everyone to, to reach out to the devs of all these other uh, physical products. Don't harass, but be like, hey, what's happening? Are these games finished? Did you know? Hell, ask them. Did you know they're going to come out with physical products of these? Did you communicate any hesitation about this? Could you imagine they didn't even know they had these boxes put? The oh, come on. Yeah, he char like he tried to make it like a television was like, dude. It was, and they did. They made it in television too. Wasn't the Intellivision two just a cut down in television that actually didn't let games made by Coleco work on it or some shit like that? Because they it was like some shady move they were doing. It, yeah, it wasn't a, a it wasn't this huge breakout success in television like it, yeah it, it did its thing for a little bit but it wasn't that big of a deal and he he was making it like everyone had this like nostalgia boner over in television and they don't it's not atari bro i'm not comfortable if you were a dev ian would you be comfortable putting out a game that you know is not finished no. a physical game but would you think that's kind of weird oh yeah i would i would think that sucks that would suck that sucks like i want i want to know what they think about this yes especially if part of the reason why they might have gone out of business is that oh we're not getting funds to continue this so right. we're not getting funds to continue our game but you're going to make money putting out a trinket based upon the work up to that point yep that's i haven't talked to saggy melons in a while i have no idea who asked about j -Rim. I have no idea what she's. I have nothing. We're, I'm cool with her. I just haven't talked to her in a minute. That's what they did. Like, I, you don't think this can get any lower, that it, but it gets lower. It gets lower. And they smile, and Hans is in Poland somewhere. Here's the assembly, assembly line of these fucking trinkets getting made. This shows we're a real company. This shows the console. It doesn't show shit. It shows nothing. It shows contempt for your consumer base. Yeah. And it shows you just how desperate you are. That's what it showed extremely I cannot, and i just i brought up in the intro in uh, that i watched the uh the big short yes and and one of the characters the steve krill character he's a guy in 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 finance so he obviously knows what it works but he has ethics and he he wanders through the movie wondering how could you sell these securities that are worthless how could you make money others how could you screw over people on bad mortgages and get bonus for how could you do all this and here's the answer People, a lot of people don't fucking care. As yeah. long as I get theirs, they don't fucking care uh, who they who they have to uh, pull a trick on. They don't worry about future consequences. They just they just put it out there. Yep. And it may not be always uh you know uh, bad intentions. What's that dumb quote? The, the path to hell is paved with good intentions. Path to hell is paved with good intentions. Yes. Or whatever the road to hell. Road so to hell. it didn't start out, you know, fraudulent. Huh. I'm, I said the same thing uh, before, well, as far as I know, before they did. Yeah, it, I don't think it started out as fraudulent, but they, with all the blunders and fuck-ups with everyone, especially Tommy within the company, they it ended up becoming fraudulent because they're trying to keep it afloat. I fully, I, I'm sure Tommy went into this to deliver a product, but he let his ego get in the way. He was not the right. He is not CEO material. His he is too egotistical. He is too narcissistic, and he can't handle it. He's not a leader. He he's it. This was a popular. He like he. I hate to give them credit, but I have to because that's what I do. They they said it perfectly. He was cosplaying as a CEO. He loved just the. I am the chief executive officer of a company. 
Yeah, you did a great job, Tommy. Congratulations. It became uh, fraudulent along the okay, way. I've we'll seen do. this echoed a lot, and I, I, I've said it for a long time now, but I've seen it echoed a lot lately. Um, it all goes back to the fact that the uh, one-time CEO has a love affair with the book called The Secret. Uh, he literally just thought talking about this idea was going to bring people to him. I think oh, he, of course. The, the magnetic draw of yes. talent, of yes. people doing things that he can't or be qualified right. for. Right. I, I think yeah. he felt that he was a big, felt big enough about himself that just talking about this idea and getting people excited. I feel like he thought he'd have people knocking down the door to work with him on it, and they did it. I'm sure he. The, some of these videos I'm going to miss, but uh, the downloading is uh, still happening. Quantum, so. It's happening right let's make sure it's actually oh it is flying man the, ah, i love my internet hd tv oh it's got an hd tv test down downplays lg's lesser hdmi 2.1 again oh man look at digital trends h9 review bias exposed look at that oh digital trends is so dude he is a legend i'm i got that video quantum you call it's so weird how every ratings.com busted again. Oh, I got that video downloaded. Let's see the other bangers I'm getting here downloaded from Quantum TV. Um what else did I get that it's already We have massive Vizio OLED handshaking issue fit. That's not anything derogatory. Fake Avoid HDMI 2.1. Oh, I got fragile Xbox Series X fanboys. Can't take Xbox criticism. That's not really a big deal. But I have so much. Stop the FOMO admits Quantum TV was right all along. <clears throat> oh, Quantum. I have it all, sir. I have it all. I have it all. I have it all. And it is still don't I'm sorry guys. I'm just I'm just watching all the the good times downloading here. <laughs> so delete away, sir. I already have a decent amount. You can keep deleting, but I have it. Not going to I'm not just going to mirror it. I'm not I just want it for uh, archiving. So just in case you try to say something else. I wish I did that with this Twitter. I wish I did that with his Twitter because he wouldn't be able to disavow, which he can't anyway. We, are, we all know it's him. It's been proven. And the money never came like he thought it was going to, so they just well, strung it along for three years for ego. You, you might have had that happen, but from my sources say uh, this became a thing where any dissent internally at Intelligent Entertainment, you were, you were, it was uh, uh, quashed or you were gone. No, not Tommy. Not a guy who doesn't want to hear anything but praise about himself constantly. No way. <laughs> David, you're right. The Atari, dude, the Atari was way more popular and, and the market was much smaller back then. So like most people don't even know. Like, there's a lot of people don't even know what the fuck the Intellivision is. Not talking this, the old Intellivision that actually was released. Well, so so like anyone with probably a, a reasonable criticism, like podcasters, oh, you're a naysayer, you're a negative Nancy. We don't want you around, even though you need that in order to have your company come through with a with a decent product. I you need criticism. You need to listen. You gotta. That's what I do. I listen, man. I'm not. I mean, I'm not perfect, but yeah, people, you gotta listen to Rich. We want to, you know, try different stuff with your YouTube channel. Try that. You gotta have humility to be. a... I'm not saying I'm a leader, but like if you're in Tommy's position, I mean to say you if you're a, you're if you're a chief executive officer, you also have to listen to criticism because it's construct constructive. It helps you build a better product. You can't just worry about your fucking feelings all the time. But that's what people like Tommy do and Quantum TV and the quartering and Pat and Ian. I don't want to lump them. Look, Pat, Ian. Tommy's a douche, but it, it's different. 
level than what Quantum has done. Constructive critic has to be, man. Even harsh fucking rich, you're a you're a you're you're news regurgitating and your content's getting bland, you're a piece of shit. Uh, maybe behind the vileness of it, you gotta listen and freshen things up. You gotta grow a set, man. He has it in stream. Ah, I may have to check it out. I really want the the story I want to know more than anything else. And you're right, David. Constructive criticism is like the light. story of the controller. Because that was clearly uh something that Tommy wanted and Tommy just had to have was that controller. Yep. And that was worked that on controller World was World ridiculous. The system was that controller. And Fuck you, that controller. You, I, I looked at the Intellivision website recently. I can't remember why I was looking, but um they talk about how much uh, they're like, you know, this doesn't look like a normal. It's in the FAQ. Uh, you know, that doesn't look like a normal controller. Why? Uh, you, mm, tons and tons of research, market research showed this is the. No, there was no market bullshit, research. Done. Bullshit. Market research showed that people want to hold a Microsoft Zune in their hand. Fuck off. There was no. Just like they said, there was market research that more expen a more expensive console would be more appealing. No, get out of here. You knew you took out predatory loans at that point, and you needed to make the money back on per console sold. Fuck off with that, Tommy. Oh, market research no. done. Every person we know. Yes, I, I deleted a bunch of shit to get the hard drive space. Try the video YouTube videos, when they get uploaded, are very, very heavily compressed and small. Who's touched it, has, except for some of the, the shills, has been like, this is... Weird, weird at best, or this is what's holding everything back at yes. at, at worst. And, but they were married to it immediately, as we know. Right, because uh, I got to look like the Intellivision. It's it's all for fucking show. You get a coin, you get a lenticular card, and you get a, like a basically a hotel key card that points to a. a, a yeah, that's actually a good way to describe it, a hotel key card. Same thing. Like, you put it up against the door, like the, it looks like a credit card, and it opens. That's what the games are. Where the fuck did... Destiny set me out those games. Where the fuck did I put them? A unencrypted uh, a URL. That's what these things are. And people, some people say, oh, these are going to be worth money. They're not going to be worth money. These are going to be whole, these are going to be liquidated in the bankruptcy hearings or whatever. They're going to be liquidated. These are going to be worth nothing. I, I, I Zero. bought uh, some of these just Less to have them. nothing. And someone gave, I just wanted it for the historical value. I fed into Stop uh, making excuses. You bought it. It's fine. You've, you've excused it like three times already. <laughs> you bought it. It's fine. But, um, I, I think. If I said that, he would hate me. <laughs> What's going to happen uh, is that slowly you're going to hear employees speak out. Like I said, I get murmurings about things. Obviously, a company like this had a bunch of yes men. Obviously. Mm -hmm. Because you would not have had this shit happen. Had anyone been critical, that would not have come out. That would not have come uh, out of a company that was smart or had critical well, mind. No, they would because Tommy wouldn't deal with anybody but yes men. There's a lot of people like Tommy and many, you know, I hate lumping him in with Quantum TV, but the person that, not the horrific things that Quantum, so I, Tommy, at least as far as I know, has never said anything along those lines, and I don't want to, but they only want, yes, you're the best, yes, you're this, like, why do you need to hear that all the time? That'd be so weird if I only wanted people to kiss my ass, it's so strange. Like, what happened in your life that you need constant affirmation that you're great? What the fuck? If you had a it. smart company, Tommy yes. would have thrown off, been thrown off a CEO sometime in early 2020 or even 2019, I'd say. Sure. Uh, but this goes on back to the fact that um, when they took the pre-orders in early 2020, they knew the console wasn't coming out in, to, in late 2020. Oh, yeah. No. That was fraudulent. I'll say that. In my opinion, that... You think beautiful angel blossom? Yes, I would agree with him. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he needs to sit down with Dr. Phil was fraudulent to do that yeah to advertise the, the date the, the you excuse, know you're never gonna the hit. excuse can be oh we'll finish it later but at, at some point you've got to uh, stop making it no it's, no the excuse is that the chip shortage the, the, the pandemic gave them a, a disgusting yeah, cover they, oh no i'm they talking tried about the hard games. Games. Yeah. i mean the console itself that oh, was the console yeah the, the console was the same sort of thing we're going to promise you a console we want your hundred dollars now we're going to promise you a console later this year even we know we know it's not going to happen we know that we don't have a firmware guy on the console. We're not going to get that guy till the summer, which that's when they really came, brought the heat at us. Uh, all the cultists and shills. When we pointed out the, the common sense things, like how can you put out a console when you have to hire the people to work on the console still? And we're like five. Yeah, months that was away. really where. Yeah, especially in 2022, man, you got to have for how many dude, how many updates you get for the fucking PS5 and switch and 
You know, like they're constantly up to how do you not have someone work on the back end and you say this thing is going to come out? It's just ridiculous. When we start seeing those like job openings and they start being like, it's for accessories in 2021. That was a lie. Yeah, that was a lie. That was a lie. Uh, Of course. Um, So this is compounding it. But I guess seeing this is like not that it crystallizes seeing a company go out of business that was working on this or be dissolved. Uh, Never good, by the way. But yeah, I want to know now. Uh, I want a journalist to find out some. Yeah, why is he still holding the game? Someone said that that's a good point. About these other companies, what's happening? I want journalists to pound the pavement and find out what's happening with these other devs. Yeah, unless they're under NDAs. Uh, at some point, those NDAs become worthless. Um, we, we do know that, like, I, I did hear that, for example. Uh, uh, my inside uh, sources saying that, for example, the um, I always forget the breakout dev, one of the only good looking games. Uh, uh, choice provisions. I did hear they were not happy with their game being shown uh, at the E3 presentation last year. Oh, right. That was uh, something that may have been unapproved for them to continue down that. So choice provisions may have been done at that point. Well, choice provisions is also an actual video game company that has released many good games that I've enjoyed. (laughs) I I wonder now if Intellivision put out that PC demo, I wonder if they had permission to do that. And maybe that That was like when Atari showed... uh... I mean, you could actually think, I think pretty positive you get it on Atari now, the uh, VCS, but they put out uh, footage of what game was it that they were showing, and they were like, yo, we don't even have that game ready for your system yet. Why the fuck? You Tempest 4000, thank you. And they were like, what the fuck? Like, we didn't okay that. But again, you could actually buy an, Intel- you could buy an Atari VCS. Right? I have one hooked up in my living room right now. That's another, That's that's the next project. My editor is still where he actually just messaged me. He's knee deep in the Wii U video right now. These things take time. So I... That's maybe where it happened. Remember, remember the PC demo yep. of Breakout where you can just use your mouse to play? You need a controller, a fancy controller. I wonder if that happened. God, these are, these are so cheap, these things. Yeah, they didn't... Right, I do feel dirty for having gotten them. By the way, this... Oh, it's not a big fucking deal. Pat, I pre-ordered the system and still have the money. Relax. This is great. This is the one thing pointed out. They got the font messed up. For some reason, in biplanes, they didn't go bold face like the other. Oh, yeah, 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 I know. Just yeah. little errors like that, which is just, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm not even. And then Tommy tried to say, whoa, that's going to be part of the, the fact that this is the, the first first run. Yeah, he uh, he's another one, just like someone else that I just did a live stream on. Not saying that the, that Tommy has done hate, said the heinous things like Q, Quantum TV. But that there's always, they never do anything wrong. There's always, oh, well, we did that for this, and we did this. Like, just say that, look, man, oops, Christ. Top three CODs ever. Uh, Original Modern Warfare. I would say Modern Warfare 2019, and then Call of Duty Black Ops. No particular order with those. One of these, like there's going to be a second or third. Oh, uh, shit. I just uh, want to uh, throw out uh, uh, Whoa Dave uh, was a game by uh, Choice Provisions that I love and I used to play all the time on the 3DS. And there is a Whoa Dave Deluxe on Switch uh, for four ninety nine. came out in 2014, but I'd highly recommend you spend your five dollars on that. There if you, you want to support a dev, oh, if you want to support but, one of the devs of, of, of what could have been. Uh, sp- speaking of game journalists, I'll just bring this up. There's a certain uh, occultist game journalist that prides itself on being an old school game journalist. That not only does that, and it's... Oh, dude, you mention every fucking... Just mention the names. Don't make it like you're above Mechie. They go back and forth. It's so annoying. Just mention... They're public figures. They're jur- Just mention the fucking names. Jesus. I don't care if you have two subscribers. If you are putting stuff out there for the public to see, and there is a reason that I'm going to praise you or critique you, you are a public figure. Congratulations. I'm so fired. I'm so fired. I'm so tired of like, well, I just, this person, they can't, they're a little bird, and shut the fuck up, just say the goddamn name. Tax people like us, but has gone out of their way to uh, slander. Well, no, I could see, I understand if he has insights, no, I will defend Pat here, if he has inside sources, you don't want to blow them up, because one, you want to, one, respect their privacy, because they're doing you his favor, and secondly, you don't want to hurt their credibility. No, that's that's what you should do. But if it's a tech YouTuber or a journalist or this, like, just shut the fuck up and mention the name and stop going 
back and forth and changing your standards with oh that's bullying if you mention that public figure so they only have 200 subs but uh this guy with 200,000 subs or this journalist from wherever can they could suck my dick like why is there a different standard dude just shut the fuck up sam and libel ars technica about their coverage of this the entire time hey um hey uh game journalists why don't you ask Tommy and look into the intelligence C and look into this company, Waste Studios, and figure out why they were dissolved and figure out how far along some of these physical product uh, games are. Yeah. Use, use all your uh, heralded game journalism skills to actually investigate and look into something that your quote unquote friend uh, uh, did. Why don't you do that instead of running cover for? Because these people just like drank the Tommy Tellerico Kool Aid. Like, oh, you're you're a brother to me, Tom. Like, dude, what, you're my age. Like, why do you need? Who de he deleted that post? What post did he delete now? The one you just sent me. Stop it. Oh come on, keep it classy, bro. No. Well, don't worry. I'm sure that some of the videos didn't get downloaded, but like I said, there's plenty of stuff there that are already downloaded. And I, like I said, I'm not going to mirror it. I'm not going to do anything to violate any terms of service, but if there's something nasty and vile that he does that's in one of those videos and he wants to say he didn't say it, I have it. There's no room. I'm not I am very anti-cancel culture. I I'm so I hate seeing people get ruined because someone took what they said out of context and then there's the whole pitchfork thing. But when you've and when you're a malicious fucking bastard like Quantum TV is and you're doing horrible stuff over and over and over and over and over again, yeah, you need to go. Fuck you. Sorry. For the guy because you're in love with him. Why don't you do that? Yeah, there's so many people that are just, oh, Tommy, I love you like a brother. Like, what the fuck? What, the, what are you, lonely? You will be, yeah. The, the. Yeah. Can I call Zadok paid a piece of shit again? Oh, you can do, okay, you, I just wanted to make sure. Time. I just wanted to make sure that everyone You can do it that. every time if you want. I'm just saying, like, it's, 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 it's a caricature. The problem with this is that you couldn't make a movie out of this because Tommy. Oh, yeah, you can. It to, like it, it, Tommy would make a perfect. He's so unlikable. Like you can't fall. He has like almost nothing redeemable. It's like you can't. No, it would make a perfect movie because he's so ridiculous that it's like he's bigger. He's. It's almost beyond fictional. Like no, there's no way someone could really. No, he really is like that. He exists. He's alive right now. <laughs> Follow him around for ninety minutes and just see the downward spiral of right. good intentions. You have to find like someone inside in television. It's almost like uh, the room. You got to find like the, the guy palling around with the guy to be like, "Hey, this is not right." That's how you got to write this movie. There, I just figured it out. You need someone to be like the right hand man that's trying to like point it in the right direction and constantly gets. Oh no, you don't know what you're talking about. I know what I'm doing here. That's what's going to happen. All right. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that is. I'm interested to hear their take on when the they talk the unboxing video because I smelled some weird stuff with that too. Interested to see what they have to say. Uh, I am exhausted tonight. I actually did technically do two streams and I've been out and about doing stuff nonstop all day and other stuff behind the scenes. So 18 new members. I think we're going to stay over that 300 mark. Uh, thank you so much for all the support. There was a tsunami of support tonight. It was fantastic. And I will be back tomorrow with more videos, guys. Have a good one.